bugs, germs, all the stuff that babies aren't supposed to be exposed to. So I decided to culture a few of the most common objects that babies are exposed to, including the baby's mouth. The pacifier, after it's been washed and after it's been used. A used and a freshly cleaned nipple, as well as a nipple that has only been rinsed. And of course, a dirty baby's mouth. So, a few things I wanted to mention before I reveal the results of this. The testing could have been better. I probably should have only swabbed and inoculated about half of my agar plates. Also, for all the safety police, I probably should have taken more precautions when handling cultures. And lastly, I wanted to mention that I did not identify any of the microbes. This was really just a test to gauge the amount of microbes on various objects. On the clean pacifier, you can see that there's actually a couple, so even with soap and water, it wasn't quite enough to clean it entirely. Next is a rinsed pacifier, which you can see has a lot of growth on it. And finally, I have a used pacifier, straight from the baby's mouth. You can see there is a huge amount of growth on it. Now on to the bottles. The first bottle was completely cleaned, and you can see there's no microbial growth, which is pretty impressive. Next we have a rinsed bottle nipple, and surprisingly the rinsed has about as much growth as the soap and water washed pacifier. I can only conclude that this has to do with the texture of the silicone itself. Both are medical grade silicone, so the frosting that is applied on the texture of the pacifier must be responsible for holding those extra microbes, whereas the very smooth silicone texture on the bottle nipple doesn't seem to allow any of those microbes to stick very easily. Finally, we have the baby's mouth, which is packed full of microbes as you can see here in this culture. So let's take a look at some of these under the microscope. All of these are really just some neat shots of the different cultures. I didn't especially differentiate these when I was shooting the video. I do believe there are some fungal as well as bacterial cultures mixed together. The agar solution itself was based on a simple recipe using fat-free beef broth. It lacked any kind of yeast extract that is normally added. So this is kind of a general purpose culturing solution. This project was done pretty hastily, so I had inoculated these right before bed and because of that I had forgotten to leave half of the plates clear to test whether the agar itself was infected. I don't believe the agar was though because some of the cultures, such as the clean baby bottle nipple, had absolutely no microbial growth. So what conclusions can you draw from this? I didn't test a huge number of consumer products in order to decide how many microbes were growing on them. Instead, I really only based this on a few products. Because of that, I don't think you can draw any solid conclusions, other than noting that the type of product itself, the texture of the silicone or other plastics, has a lot to do with the microbial retention when trying to clean them. Soap and water, it seems to be mostly enough to clean these things to an acceptable level. You can also use microwave sterilization or steam sterilization. There are these nice bags where you can just drop the objects into the microwave and use steam to sterilize them. So probably the biggest offender in this is not necessarily rinsed bottle nipples that are reused, but actually rinsed pacifiers or pacifiers that are left out. The ones with the frosted texture on the surface of the silicone are not easily cleaned. And because of that, you should probably not use them for more than a day. Even after rinsing them, they're not especially clean. You should probably use soap and water or use some kind of sterilization, such as steam sterilization. If I was to draw some kind of general conclusion, I would say that smooth textures of plastics and silicone seem to be a lot better in terms of sterilization and a lack of microbial retention, so you may want to consider using products that are smooth on their surface. If you found this interesting or helpful, please like and subscribe, and remember to clean your baby's bottles and pacifiers with soap and water, and try not to reuse the same pacifier for more than 24 hours.